Hello everyone, welcome back to Shortcode. In this video, we're going to be adding an intro screen to our game in Pygame. So let's get right into it. Okay, so first off, uh, when we run our game, we just jump straight into it. We have our character, we have the enemies and stuff, and we can move around. But what we actually want to do is we want to have an intro screen. So we'll have like the title of the game, and then we'll also have a button to say play. And we'll also have a button where we can... Uh, a play button so we can click on it and then we can start playing. Okay, so first off, I think what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to import some fonts into our game. So in my uh, in my game folder, I have like the main.py, sprites.py, but I also have a font file and this is just arial.ttf. Um, you can use any font you want, I'm just going to be using this one. So make sure that's in the same directory as your main.py file as well as your sprites.py file. And to import the font into Pygame, all we need to do is we need to do self.font in the init method of the game class. Self.font equals pygame.font.font. And in the brackets, we want to have the name of the font, and this is ariel.ttf. And the size of the font, which I'm just going to set as 32. So size of the font is 32, and the file of the font is ariel.ttf. So now that we've got that, we'll also want to go into the sprites.py file and start creating a button. So I'm just going to skip right to the bottom of the file and we'll create a new class and call it button. It doesn't actually need to inherit from a Pygame sprite, it'll just be its own little class. And we'll need an init method. So we'll need self. Uh, we'll need an x, a y, a width, a height, a foreground colour a background colour, the content, which is going to be like the text, and we'll also need the font size. Okay, and now we'll do what we did in the main.py file, so we'll just do self.font equals pygame.font.font, and it's going to be arial.ttf, and the size is going to be um, font size, so whatever we pass in here. Uh, and then we can do self.content equals content, self.x equals x, self.y equals y, uh, self dot width equals width, and self dot height equals height. Then we'll also do self dot foreground equals foreground, and self dot background equals background. And now we'll do self dot image equals pygame dot surface, and it's it's just going to be a surface, and it's going to be a rectangle with uh, the size of self dot width and self dot height, uh, which is what we passed in up here. So we're just creating a Pygame surface, which is a rectangle, and then we're going to fill the image with the background color, so self.bg. And then we can do self.rex equals self.image.get underscore rex. And remember, the self.rex is like the, pretty much like the hitbox, I guess, of the button. Then self.rex.x equals self.x, and self.rex.y equals self.rex.y. Sorry, self.rec.y equals self.y. And then we can do self.text equals uh, self.font.render. So what we're doing is we're going to self.font, and we're going to render that font. Uh, and we're going to, the text that we want to render is going to be self.content. So that's the actual text that we're going to be rendering. The next parameter is whether we want anti-aliasing on or off. Um, Anti-aliasing basically just means that whether the font will be smooth or not, it'll just look nicer if we have it on, so I'm just going to set it to true. And then the colour of the font, and that's going to be self.foreground. And self.text underscore rect, and that is going to be like the position of the text, I guess. So self dot self dot text dot get underscore rect. And the center is going to be self dot width divided by two and self.height divided by 2, and that basically just, um, it's going to put the text in the middle of the button. And once we've set up the rectangle and the image and that, we can just do self.image.blit, and we're going to, we're going to render the text. The rectangle that we're going to render is going to be self.text underscore rect. We're drawing the text onto the image. And now let's create a function called isPressed. And it's going to need self, the position, and whether it's been pressed or not. And then we can do if self.rect.collide point, and that's going to be pause. If pressed zero, return true. 
otherwise return false and return false. Now I'll, you'll see what this does in a minute, but basically what we're doing is we're checking to see we, what we're going to do is we're going to get the position of the mouse. We're going to check if it's colliding with the button. And then we're going to check if we've pressed it or not, which is what this press zero is. And then if we have pressed it, we're going to return true. And if we haven't, we're going to return false. Uh, you'll see how it works once we um, once we call the function. But now we can move back over to our main.py file and start working on the intro screen. So first, let's just create a quick little temporary variable called intro and we'll set it to true. And we'll do while intro. Uh, and then we're going to need to set up an event loop uh, because we have our event loop up here, but the event loop isn't going to be running here. So we'll need to create another one down here. So for events in pygame.events.get, if event.type equals pygame.quit, uh, intro equals false, and self.running equal sorry, self.running equals false and then we'll do mouse underscore pause equals high game dot mouse dot get underscore pause now this just gets the position of the mouse on the screen and this will be useful for like when we're pressing buttons and stuff uh, and then we can do mouse underscore press equals high game dot mouse dot get underscore press and this will this uh, function right here will just return whenever it, the mouse is clicked and it returns a it returns a list, and if the, the first item in the list is the left click button, the second item I think it's the right click button, and the third item is the middle mouse wheel click. And that's why we have to get the first item in the pressed list because we're trying to check for the uh, left click button. So now we need to create our button. So what we can do is we can just do play underscore button equals a button, and this is our button class from here. So we're going to need self, we're going to need the x and the y and the width and height and so on. So I'm just going to have to have it at uh, x position 10, uh, y position 50. Uh, it's going to be 100 by 50. The foreground color is going to be white. The background color is going to be black. Uh, and the text is going to be play. And the font size is just going to be 32. And now that we've got the button, I want to create the title. So what we can do is we can just do title equals pygame.font.render. And we are going to, sorry, this shouldn't be pygame.font.render, this needs to be self.font.render because we are going to render this font onto the screen. So come back down here and we're going to be rendering our title. And I'm just going to call it Awesome Game because it is pretty awesome. Um, Anti-aliasing is going to be true just so it looks a bit nicer and the font color can be black. And the title rex. It's just going to be title rect is going to be title dot get and score rect x equals 10 and y equals 10. That will just get the rect from the title and it will also position it with the x and the y coordinates. So now what we want to do is we want to check if the play button has been pressed. So if play button dot is underscore pressed, if you remember the is pressed method, the uh, position and uh, if the left mouse button has been pressed, so we'll do uh mouse pause and mouse press then we'll just set the intro to false here we want to display the background as well as all the text and the buttons so we can do self.screen.blit so we're going to onto the screen we're going to draw the self.intro underscore background and we're going to display it at zero zero uh self.screen.blit title and it's going to be at title rect and then self.screen.blit play button dot image and play button dot rect. So we're going to be displaying the play button image at the play button rect. And then we can just do self.clock dot tick FPS. So that'll just update the game at 60 frames per second. And then we can just do pygame dot display dot update. And I've just realized we haven't actually defined self.intro background. Come up here and we're just going to we're just going to get the intro background image. So self.intro background equals pygame.image.load uh, dot slash img slash intro background dot png. I believe that is it. So if we come in the img folder, there'll be the this intro background dot png. Now if we run our game, we have an error. Black is not defined. Um, this needs to be all capitals. 
black is not defined. There we go, run it, and we've got another error. White is not defined. Uh, we never actually specified uh, white here, so I'll just do it quickly. 255, 255, 255. So that's our color for white. It's going to be all, all red, all green, all blue, and that'll make us white. So if we run it, we get this uh, really quite bad intro screen. You can obviously make this a lot nicer looking with some different colors and whatnot. This is just, I just wanted to show you how to do it. I'm not a graphic designer. Um, but anyway, if we hit the play button, then our game starts and we can walk around and yeah. So I'll just quickly go over what we're doing with the intro screen. So we're setting the intro screen to the intro variable to true. Uh, we're creating the title and the title rect. We're creating the button. And then while this intro screen variable is true, we're just having an event loop to check if we ever want to quit in the intro screen. Uh, we're getting the mouse pause and we're getting whether the uh, mouse, any of the mouse buttons have been pressed, which is an array. And then we're checking if the play button has been pressed. If it has been pressed, we're going to set this variable to false. Uh, and then we're just going to draw everything, update the screen. And whenever this loop is broken out of, we're going to move on from uh, g.intro screen onto g.new. And g.new is just a new game starting. So if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. I will get back to you. If you want to see what the best uh, text editors and IDEs for Python are, then you can click on this video here. Otherwise, that's it from me. Cheers and goodbye.